Physerum polycephalum, an intelligent slime mold. The slime mold grows in our native forests. Because of his unique skills, he was part of our project. In this video, we want to tell you something about it. The aim of our project was to optimize the culture growth of Physerum polycephalum to duplicate it as fast as possible. Physerum polycephalum is often used as a model organism for biological and geographical issues. In our project, we wanted to test how the slime mold is affected by various external influences like different nutrients and changes in temperature. This gives us an insight of how the slime mold might be affected by environmental changes like the climate change. The cultivation started with dry sclerotia on filter paper. The filter paper was placed on agar plates and a few drops of water and oat flakes were added. For an optimization, we cultivated the slime mold with the following conditions. We were using four different agar concentrations, three different temperatures and four different nutrients like potatoes and even mealworms. After three days, the growth and the oscillation were measured. To test the viability of the slime mold with several nutrients, a rhizosurin assay was made after 24 hours of incubation time. We wanted to prove that the slime mold can find a way through a 3D maze. The maze was printed with stereolithography. In this process, the polymer was hardened with ultraviolet lights and the 3D structure was built layer by layer. After the printing process, the maze was washed in isopropanol and post-hardened for 15 minutes. First we filled the maze with agar and then we placed the slime mold and oat flakes in opposite corners. Within only two days the slime mold reached the oat flakes. The oscillation was measured with an inverted microscope. With the oscillation, the differences of the plasma flow can be seen with the different culture conditions. First, the native plasma flow is shown. Here you can see the flow 8 times faster. This helps us to see the oscillation and the movement of the slime mold. The different conditions show a remarkable influence on the growth, oscillation and morphology.